Mm. Good. Wow. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Theo Williams. We are back at it again for another delicious episode of America's Best Restaurants. Today, we are here at the Suburban in Leavenworth, Kansas, where I hear the chef and owner of this establishment was trained by some of the best chefs around. I also heard he has a particular name for a burger that he wants me to try. So I'm really interested to see what they got here. I'm really excited to see what it looks like inside. So let's go in and get to the eat. <music> Hey, how's it going, man? Good, how about you? How you doing I'm today? good, man, good, man. What's your name? My name is Nicholas, what's yours? Oh man, I'm Theo from America's Best Restaurants. I'm really excited to be here right now, my guy. I'm excited for you guys to be here too. I'll be waiting for you guys to get down here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I can tell you. Is that for me right yeah, here? Yeah, it's right for you right there. <laughs> All right, now tell me about what this dish is exactly. So this honey chicken is a creamy mashed potatoes with some garlic green beans with Ooh. a honey coated fried chicken over the top. It's probably one of the best meals that we have here. Honestly, it's one of my favorite. Um, I hope you like it. Man, all right, so you, I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm dive into this real quick while I ask you a couple of questions, sure. man. Cause I, I wanna know, like, Nick, how long have you been working here, man? Well, I've been working here for about five years. When Jason had bought the restaurant, I was the first one here to renovate the place with him. So we gutted basically the whole restaurant out, put a new design in it, made it look a lot more like aesthetic, nice for like the area. First off, Nick, I gotta tell you, man, this honey chicken is so delicious, man. You know what it reminds me of? It's almost like an, a crispy orange chicken. That would you get, man? Yeah, that's what I would get off of it too. Just a little, oh, a little man. different on the taste, but it's spot on almost. Yeah, I mean, you got that sweet. It's a perfect sweetness. And then on top of the sweetness, you also get that little tang, that little zest, you know what I'm saying? And then this, this, this chicken, it's like fried to perfection, dude. Like, yeah. that's this... my favorite part of it. I'm a fried chicken guy. Oh myself. man, like you can't go wrong with this, man. And like, like I said, fried to perfection. Like sometimes people be butchering fried yep. chicken. Like it'd be soggy, you know. It, you know, this is perfect flavor. Mm. We do our best every single time. We try to send out all the plates the same. Always crispy like that. Always the best the way to look at. Mm. Wow, man, that is phenomenal. A plus stuff. So you literally laid the foundation to this place. You were here doing the backbreaking work of the digging, the, 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 the moving of rocks and, and stuff like that. And now it's this awesome place that's like an oasis in the middle of Kansas, dude. Like, tell me about the transformation that you've seen over the years. Yeah, so every day I try to come in, uh, even for the past five years, I've just been working to like get the outside better, look nicer the inside, build everything up, put the plants out, make them grow, give give a really good look for everything. Try to make the community feel like this is a place for everybody to come and eat a family friendly place. Uh, I mean, you just talked to them about the community. Like, how has the community responded to this place? Well, I honestly think everybody loves it. Jason gets tens of thousands of shares, what? views all, all the time. Like, there'll be times where he'll come into the kitchen and be like, my post got shared 30,000 times. We're going to be really busy today. So <laughs> let's, let's make sure we're sandbagged. Let's make sure we are good on everything. It's every every day that we come in, we're gonna, we have to have a game plan. We have to see what, how we're going to do things, how, how we're going to have you a just good day. Implement it, yeah. Yep. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. And I got to tell you, man, I can't I can't stop eating this chicken right now. Like, I'm not even lying to you. Like, this is some of the most delicious fried chicken I've ever had in my life. Like, with, you know, with the honey, the honey on top of it, like I said, it gives you that orange. Brings it together. Yeah, man, and like everything here is phenomenal. These string beans are so on point. Got that garlic buttery flavor to it. Yep. I've already said enough praise for the chicken. If this is just the beginning, I can't wait to taste everything else, dude. I promise you the, the stuff on the menu, your mind will be blown away. Nick. Thank you so much, man. Thank I appreciate you, so you joining me outside. But uh, I'm gonna go inside and get myself a nice cool drink and hang out at the bar for a hot second. Good meeting you, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Too. Hey guys, so right now I am joined by Zoe. She is not only a server here, 
but she's also the daughter of the owner, Jason, of this awesome restaurant, The Suburban. Zoe, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you for having me. Oh man, I really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just had a really awesome conversation with Nick outside. He mm -hmm. gave me some of that honey chicken. Good Lord, that was delicious. Super good. And now I'm sitting, I'm standing next to you and you have this delicious, it looks like some kind of a macaroni and cheese ball here. and has my mouth watering. Tell me why it's making my mouth water. What is this? This is our short rib mac and cheese, my personal favorite and a lot of personal favorites of our other customers that come in here. You got your cavatappi noodles here, white cheddar, uh, got our fried onions on it, jalapenos with our house barbecue, which is like a, a white barbecue, super yummy, and obviously short rib on it. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, but because my mouth is going to be stuffed, I want to try yeah, this yeah. first before I start asking questions because I don't want food to fly out in your face and it just, <laughs> it just is a bad look for everybody. Yeah, you know go ahead, go ahead. All right, so I'm about to sink my teeth into this real quick. So how should I attack this? Because I see I got the, you gotta get the fried bit, onions. Yeah, you gotta get a little bit of everything in there. Okay, yeah. okay. So I got the fried onions, I got the macaroni mm -hmm. and cheese, I got the brisk or the short ribs, excuse yeah. me, jalapenos. And what, what is this sauce that's on top of the macaroni and cheese it's a white, again? white barbecue. White barbecue, mm -hmm. wow, okay, cool. All right, let me get some of that. This one rib is yeah. just, he doesn't want to get on. He's like, don't eat me, no! Sorry, he's gonna get eaten, so. Mmm! <laughs> Good. Wow. That is a barbecue meal right there. Mm -hmm. Because that white barbecue on top of that macaroni and cheese gives it that cookout flavor. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's sweet, savory, smoky, and it has that smoky flavor to it. The fried onion rings are always a good mm -hmm. call. Like the fried crispy onions, always a good call in my opinion. And then you hit it off on the top with a little bit of the spice with the jalapeno. Yep. A little bit of everything in there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That That is phenomenal. So it must be really cool to have a dad that, ha that cooks food <laughs> like this, that has an awesome restaurant like this that you get to work at. Tell yeah, me about that. I mean, uh, growing up, food was always like a big part of our family. Like I always grew up in the kitchen. And so just seeing my dad like open up this place, like it, I have a lot of pride in it. I love seeing all this actually come to life. Like we, this is how we eat at home and we're bringing it into the community. Wait, y'all eat like this at oh, home? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> like all this, like just, he, we just come up with like the most random things at home. He's always up in there, up in the kitchen all day long, coming up <laughs> with something new. So. This is like how we like to eat. So you guys are basically the guinea pigs for the suburban. Yeah, at home. pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> like, yeah. How do I sign up for that job? I want to be the guinea pig <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> I'm coming over tonight, all right? right Six o'clock. Six o'clock? All right, yeah. Ben, I'll be there. <laughs> so you're young, you're cool. Tell me about the impact this place has had on the community. You know, this is a place that people want to come chill, vibe at. You know, what's the story here? Well, so I just graduated high school this past year. And my dad like loved to be like not only in my life but in the community's life as well. Like he's always in, he's always somewhere. Like downtown, we always have those big social events, all the fundraising events. We love to be a part of the community, and we not only like bring like our menu, like we always have like special pop ups. Like we just love to be a part of that community all the time. Like this is where we grew up, and we just like like we want to give back what the Leavenworth brought to us. Well, I'll be honest with you. I want to be a part of this community too, so I can come and get some more of this short rib macaroni and cheese, because this is phenomenal. This is good stuff. Good. Chicken was amazing. But I think your dad has a burger from the outside. So. Pretty big boy. I heard it. I heard it's going to be delicious. Yeah. <laughs> so Zoe, I'm going to go out there and I'll let you pops real quick. All right. It's very nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, you must be Jason. Hey, Theo, how are you? What's going on, my man? I'm doing good. I got a couple drinks for us. Whew. We gotta go check out this patio, man. You can't not have a drink in your hand. I mean, listen, it's a really beautiful day out here today, so I think I do kind of want a drink, so let's walk and talk, my man. Couldn't ask for a better day. Oh, absolutely not, man. So tell me a little bit about yourself, man, your story, because you're a classically trained chef in yeah. French cuisine. Yeah, so my background's in uh, French fine dining. 
I've been a chef uh, for my 22, 23 years now. Um, kind of came up in uh, the hotel, uh, Four Diamond boutique hotel world. And um, now I got my own little little sliver of Oasis here in Leavenworth. Yeah, definitely, man. Like, you definitely kind of have like an Anthony Bourdain vibe to you, my man. Like, what's that all about? Why am I sensing that? Well, Anthony Bourdain is obviously one of the, the, the biggest chefs that I kind of looked up to as a, as a younger chef coming up. He was uh, kind of at the pinnacle of his career and everything at the time. He was somebody that I really, really looked up to. His heart, big heart, and also an amazing, talented chef. Yeah, man. Well, that's really awesome. So, I mean, you have a really cool staff here. The vibe here is awesome. This is a beautiful patio you have here, man. Talk a little bit about, you know, why you have such a cool staff and how'd you get this place looking so perfect? Well, a lot of it is from the staff. You know, we have, uh, we've been blessed here that we have a, a great set of staff that we have on hand. Um, it's kind of the way that I look at things is I wanted to be able to provide a place for everybody to come and make money and have a good place um, to work. I came up in kitchens that, that weren't the best kitchens all the time. You know, there's great kitchens and stuff like that. But um, I wanted a place that, that the people making the food um, were making, it's food by the people for the people. I feel you, I feel you, you know, and it's a very down to earth, chill place to, to eat. You call this a uh, redneck chic, I believe yeah, I heard. Yeah, red, yeah, redneck <laughs> chic. Uh, we, we, you know, sometimes we'll, I'll call it my little pirate ship. Um, we, we make things happen. Um, we try to put that, put out a, an amazing vibe. That's like the biggest thing, you know, you can go and get uh, food anywhere. Um, we wanted to have a place that everyone's relaxed, you feel comfortable. It's, you're at an extended family member's house, you know? It's just a good place to come and sit, transport somewhere else. Absolutely, I gotta tell you, this drink is delicious. That's what one of my favorites. What yeah. is this? So this is, it's called the Rocky Colada. Woo. Me, I'm a big burly guy, you know? Mm. I like fruity drinks. And sometimes whenever you go and get a pina colada, they like to, you know, do the frozen daiquiri style drinks. Um, this was a way that I could get that to other people so people would feel comfortable with drinking it. I'll put down two or three of those. Whew, you know, it's easy. a great, a great outdoor, you know, with the heat going, it's a, it's a great summertime drink. Yeah, man, this definitely has great flavor. I mean, definitely it's like a pina colada, but like better. Yeah. You know, this is some good stuff, yep, man. Just our take on it. <laughs> we, that's what we like to do here is we like to take things that you're comfortable with and just add a little different piece of flair to it. We come from a fine dining background, so we take a little bit of a fine dining approach, but our food's not pretentious or, you know, it's just straightforward good food, man. That's how I eat. Nice, man. Well, I, I see, uh, it's like oh, you yeah, got, I got a, a little treat. I got okay. a little treat for you over here. Okay, What's, what we got here? This is, this is one of our signature items here at the Suburban. This is one of my favorite uh, favorite things. This is the Donald Burger. The Donald. Yeah. Now, okay. We're going, we, we run into maybe perhaps a little bit of controversy here. <laughs> Why is it called the Donald? Well, this <laughs> is the Donald. Um, you know, it's uh, it's surrounded by a, a huge wall of French fries. We've got uh, huge our huge wall. Huge. We've got our our yellow our yellow cheese, our uh, our powdered Cheeto, flaming hot Cheeto dust, uh, million dollar pickles. Uh, we have a, a fired egg, uh, your fired egg. Um, it's just one of those things. We like to have fun. We like to play here. Um, it's all in good in good um, you know good humor. We try and stay right down the middle and, and have a, a fun time for everybody that's here. And this was just something that kind of came out of the kitchen one day and I was like, man, that's the Donald. Yeah. And, and <laughs> here we got it. And like you do this, this isn't just for this burger. Like you have funny names for like a lot of your stuff, yeah. right? All of our stuff, like I, I said, I wanted it to, it to be fun and engaging. All of our stuff has puns. You know, I've got a, a sandwich named after my, my ex-wife, the uh -oh. Ugly Ex. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> the Ugly Ex, it's one of our, uh, our, um, our pork tenderloin sandwiches. It's just a different take on it. Um, my brother and sister, um, they enjoy Miller Lights. So if you come in and you order a Becca and Eric, you're gonna get a Miller Light. Oh, I love and it. And a nice big tall can. <laughs> so we try and keep it fun for, for everybody. All of our specials that we do, um, we do a special every night of the week and we try and be fun. They'll have fun, quirky names and it might be something that staff is interested in or something like that. Nice. Something that's going on in the community, lots of fun stuff. So what's coming up for the future here of the Suburban? The, the future of the Suburban, it, I mean, it's it's been, it, it's great. We we have uh, great projections going forward. We're, we're really moving forward with the outdoor space. I'm thinking of incorporating in some, some cool fun nights here coming up. Uh, we're gonna have a series called the Suburban Campfire Series coming up. Okay. Um, and that's gonna be me cooking over an open hearth wow. out here. Um, that's and kinda, cool. yeah, get that rustic vibe, cast iron, 
you know, beans, bacon. Yes, sir. We're gonna have a fun time with it over a, a uh, you know, an open hearth. Um, that way everybody can see and get involved. Absolutely, all right, well, now is the moment of truth. Yeah. I'm about to sink my teeth into this giant burger called the Donald. All right, I, I love how you got, what's this, uh, Cheeto sprinkles, hot yep, Cheeto sprinkles? Yep, hot Cheeto oh, dust. Oh man. This is one of those ones where you kinda, you gotta almost two-hand it there. Oh, you definitely gotta two-hand this bad boy. All right, so here we go. Take a look at that. Uh. Wow. Right? No! That... Dude, yeah. This one's one of my favorites. And it's just, you know, it's one of those things, man. Simple food could be so good. Yo, that is so good, man. I think every restaurant should try their best to be like you. Because this burger, like, I can see this in, like, a national chain, like everyone be like, oh, I gotta get the Donald. Like, right, yeah. So many flavors hit me. Obviously, you get the crunchiness from the fresh vegetables, the lettuce, the uh, tomato. Then you got the egg on top. Yep. Perfectly cooked egg. The seasoning of the burger, amazing. Then you got that crispy hot Cheeto on top of it that adds that second layer to a little bit of spice, but it gives you also more crunch to it. Dude. The million dollar, million dollar pickles? Million dollar pickles. Million dollar pickles, man. And deplorable sauce. Can't forget the deplorable sauce. The deplorable sauce is amazing, dude. It's yummy. It's really good stuff, man. It gives it a nice flavor. Man, you really know what you're doing here, man. Thank you. I'm, I'm really enjoying my time here at the Suburban, Thank man. You. I'm loving my time out here at Leavenworth. Do me a favor, one final question. So I'm from New Jersey. I've never been here before. It's my first time in Kansas, as a matter of fact. Sure. What would you say to someone like myself who's just looking for a place to hang out, looking for a destination spot? Why would I come out here and visit the Suburban? Well, not to mention just the Suburban, but the Leavenworth itself is, is a, it's a great area. We have so much uh, small town America feel, but also we're so close to the city. We have an amazing uh, downtown area with tons of awesome boutique, boutique uh, shops, lots of events going on um, throughout the summertime. Um, there's so much activity that's going on. This is a little slice of heaven in the middle of Kansas. And you, when you sit down out here, if I blindfolded you and I told you, you know, didn't tell you where we were going yeah. and I took the blindfold <laughs> off and I said, oh, we're in Leavenworth, Kansas, you'd never guess. And then that's kind of what we want for our, for our guests is to have an experience that they can come outside, enjoy the space, enjoy the inside space, just have a good time. And by the way, we make good food. Really good food. Yeah. You said uh, you, you wanted to be like a slice of heaven. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, every time I take a bite out of your food, I feel like I'm in heaven, bro. Thank you so much for having us, Thank man. you so much Thank for you. coming. We, it was a blast with you guys. You're amazing people, so we enjoy it. Well, I appreciate it, man. America's Best Restaurants, we always doing it big here at the Suburban, baby. All right, guys, I just had a great time here at the Suburban in Levensworth, Kansas, and man, everything was awesome. All the sandwiches and food was great. The chicken, man, that was my favorite. But then you had the short rib macaroni and cheese, and then that amazing, the Donald Burger. It was huge. So I had a great time here, guys. America's Best Restaurants. I'm Theo Williams. Hope to see ya! <laughs>